Hey there, Vine Nation. My name is Dave, and welcome back to another Cat Week video where we're taking a look at more Isle Cats, but it's only in this bag. Let me tell you more about it. Let's go. I love Isle of Cats, if you couldn't tell. This is one of the best games I've ever played. Even if it wasn't associated with cats, it would be a good game. But because it's associated with cats, it makes it a phenomenal game. So I wanted a little more oomph. I like to spice up my life. There are videos that I call that. I haven't done one of those in a very long time. But I want better components no matter what the game. If it has cardboard tiles, even if the cardboard tiles are nice, I want 3D parts. So. I went looking for a specific game, and Isle Cats was it. I knew it was popular. I knew I'd probably find some good components, so I happened upon these. Now, I'm leaving the link down below to the website of the people who sent this to me. I had to buy it, of course, but they have a whole bunch of these for tons of games. Everdell, um, Isle Cats, uh, Dominion, just a whole bunch of different ones, but we're talking about Isle Cats. Now, what do I think of these parts? Well, they are 3D printed, so if you know how 3D print material is, it's got that kind of weird kind of um, fingerprint scale kind of feel to it. They're hard. But when I first seen them in a the picture, uh, I thought they were squishy. Well, honestly, I wish they were squishy, but they still look pretty good. So let me show you a close-up of what these have to offer, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Let's go. Okay, so here are the components for the upgrade of Isle of Cats. Now, we're gonna take a closer look here. These are the baskets. I don't know if you can kind of see those. The cats are um, on top. You can't take them off. Uh, the best way that I, when I played, I just turned them to the side when I uh, didn't have a cat, and when I did have a cat, I put them up like this, and then you knew I had a cat for that round for that basket. But this one here, you really can't tell that it was 3D printed because of all the cool um, stitching on the basket, which is really nice. I really like the basket most of all. I think it's hollow, uh, but it's pretty cool. Um, and then the fish, the creme de la creme. Uh, I don't I really like the way it feels when I do that. Okay, um, these are the five fish, and you can plainly see there are five fish here instead of guessing like on the tiles. And then you have the one fishy here. Um, these are just quality bits. I did think they were squishy, but even though they're hard, they're really sturdy, uh, they're detailed really nice. And I think one set of these is good for just the base set if you play with two or three players. If you're going to play with more than that, you might want to get two sets of these. But I got one set for around um, 20 bucks, and I don't regret it. I really do like these. Um, so let me go ahead and tell you my final thoughts on these components, and then we'll go from there. Let's go. What do I think about these parts? And do I think you should go out and get these if you really like the game? I think these are awesome. I really like them. They are pricey. So if you are wanting to bulk up your copy of a game and you don't care about getting multiple games like uh, I do, then yes, go out and get these parts because it's going to make your experience even better. And when you play it with new people, especially people who have played Isle of Cats before and they don't know about this kind of stuff and you bust this out, they're going to be enamored even more. And even again, with Isle Cats, though they've played it in the past, they get to see these 3D, 3D parts. My one gripe is they are 3D printed and I don't really like the rubbing feel of the material of any 3D print. It's not anything against these uh, products specifically, it's just kind of how I feel about the way the procedure is because they, they do like this kind of building stacking pro uh, process which gives it the, that kind of feel. Beyond that, these are stellar. They look great. They actually show five fish instead of having the three fish on the cardboard. They say it's five fish, but we all know it's only showing three fish. And so now people can really distinguish that. Having the box with the 3D uh, cat on them, you just got to flip to a side if you have a cat. Or you can flip it on the side and then when you have a cat, flip it up right and say, no, now I have a cat in there. So it's easy to kind of distinguish that. It's just, these are so cool. I wish I was able to get more, 
But again, they are pricey and I wanted to get a little bit to show you here. On Cat Week, because I love you, Vine Nation, and this is what I do. I do it for you. I appreciate you stopping on by. If you want to check out these parts or even more, visit the link down below. You can buy some there. Now until the next time that I see you, join me in the next Cat Week video coming up soon because you know they're coming up here uh, soon. My name is Dave and have a great rest of your day and a great time with all you play. I'm out. I'm meowed. Bye, everybody. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.